three, two, one. Wink it, wink it. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are calling Steve. Love the dancing. Now you guys haven't done a dance break in a long time. <gasps> dance sure. break. That's true. We'll do one later. Hello. Hello. Is this uh, Steve? Yes, sir. Steve, how are you? This is uh, Outsider Tackle Box radio show and Proper. podcast. Uh, we got uh, Tommy and Felix in the studio. Say hi, fellas. What's going on, Steve? Hi, fellas. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> We're doing We're all right. We're doing good. I have to prep them, uh, otherwise they won't say hi. Shut I have to, up. I have to tell them, like, <laughs> that's your cue, or it just it gets skipped right over. And they're, they, it's like they got front row seats to a show, and they're just watching me do it all. So I have to tell him it's your turn to say hi. Line? Yeah, we're we're trying to figure out how a how a twelve year old boy got his own show. <laughs> this is not a show you'd pay to see. <laughs> All right, You're so like a forty year old boy. We're spreading happiness to the world through the joys of fishing. Fishing is therapeutic for a lot of people. It's just fun, and so people enjoy the story and the format. Uh, when you send in a, a photo, is just to let us know where you caught the fish, the bait that you were using, and the size of it. And you sent in uh, three different fish stories. You have plenty of time, and I, we have you, um, actually, you have the rest of the show. So, yeah, you're the last caller, so. And we that, understand man. that you know our good friends from Columbia River Hookers and uh, our beer sponsor out of Borman, Oregon, Ordnance Brewing. Thank you very much for Ordnance Brewing providing the uh, beer for the, today's show. The alcoholic beverage for the show. So we want to give you as much time as you need. Let's hear, this is your podcast. Let's hear your fish stories. All right. Well, uh, the two are some of the springers from about a year, year and a half ago, I believe. Mm -hmm. And those were those were caught on the Umatilla. Okay. And it was good, good towards the end of the day. Caught, and... They were, the fishing was really good, but it was, okay, we were catching a lot of the, the wild, so we had to throw them back. Mm -hmm. And it was getting towards the end of the day, and I was getting ready to call a day, and got lucky. I was bouncing some row, and what that first one, that hammered it. Uh, nice. So you caught those uh, salmon on some, just putting roe on there, huh? Yeah, yeah. It was a little just treble hook. Nice. No, just a, uh, just a little single. A little single hook. Uh, about oh, that single some hook. Some roe on the umatilla. Yep, on, on the umatilla up here, and ended up being one of the biggest fish I've ever caught out of there, and was just, just over twenty pounds. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. it was. Yeah, but then they got the other one about five minutes after. Same thing, same spot. Nice. You just hit that little money yep. spot for Yeah, awesome. it's got a couple coming through. It's always good when you find a and good then, spot like that. Now now that sturgeon yeah, that yeah. that sturgeon that you got there in the other in the second picture, where was that one at? Was that off the uh, out in the Columbia or Yeah, that was out in the Columbia. Yeah, buddy. And yeah, and actually, I was out with another buddy that um, wanted to. There was a guy that's trying. He's starting up a YouTube channel, trying to get his kicked off, and mm -hmm. he's friends with the guys from Addicted Fishing, and they wanted to. They wanted to film some content, so we went out. Um, we get out there about seven thirty. There's some guys out the room. We're like, "Well, how's the fishing, guys?" Says. They're like, oh, well, we've been here since 3.30. These guys have been here since before us, and they haven't touched the fish. Well, that's going to be fun. I'm going to take this guy out and try to get him some fish on the boat. Let's catch him. Mm. We, moved, we moved about 200 yards down from those guys, and within five minutes of getting the rods in the water, we had our first fish on. Nice. nice. That's kind of what yeah, happens, was, too. To me, I'm the other guy in that story where I'll be fishing for an hour and then Tommy will just come in and like catch a fish and then he'll he'll do the like the crotch chop. Yeah, like, I usually he'll be like, Paul the Yeah, he he he'll be like, Hey Paul and he'll like crotch chop me and be like boom 
and then tell me like that I that I'm terrible or like he'll say you suck or something like that. That's, I mean that's yeah. You know, I'm sorry the truth hurts, but uh, you know that's just what it is. And then he'll fall down from just the weight because his <laughs> balance is not that good. He'll like crotch drop it, and yeah. like you know he's a little bit top heavy. So I'm like if, a he, mo- lamp, if he moves a little bit too much to one side, he'll just like fall over, which is Whatever. beautiful. <laughs> I'm just shapes. I'm like a lava lamp. I just move. <laughs> Once, if you get it moving too much over to one side, it just has to follow. It. Balance it's like his knees buckle. Picks. Your knees buckle. You're like crotch chop, <laughs> knee buckle, and then it's like <laughs> that's, what, that's what you get, a hole. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, sorry to interrupt. You just happened to. No. I mean, it, that reminded me of like me not catch, catching fish and Tommy Which is crotch chopping. That's hilarious. That's... Oh, but yeah, that that day. Um, so we went out 7.30 and at 9 o'clock we already had nine fish to the boat and nice, the last nice. two the, the, my buddy that I was with for whatever reason we decided not to take pictures of both of the fish because we ended up the last two we uh, hooked up at the same time and they ended up both being keepers nice yeah we we got some dirty looks from the guys on the bank in the other boat but it's not your fault they suck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, what, what, what do you get out of I'm going to mean mug you from across the river? Your setup's all wrong. And then... Uh, that's, that deserves a crotch top. That's what that's what Steve should have done. Just said, hey, suck it. And then held up a sturgeon and been like, you suck. Just saying. That's you know what? what? If I'm not catching fish and my, and my setup I think is good, but you're catching fish, I'll change my setup. To, to mimic whatever it is that you're doing. And then you still can't catch any Still not catch any fish. <laughs> Bro, you know, I mean, it, that doesn't guarantee I'm going to catch a fish. I'm just thinking maybe me. the the setup might be wrong. So if you're not even trying to change it up, you know, yes, yeah. you're right. It does probably deserve a crotch chop. Absolutely. When, anytime anybody me, Why don't you do the, a video crotch chop? I will later. For uh, Steve, so I, he can I, see I, it when I we will, upload his video. When just we do like, it on, when crotch we do chop it. On, it. When we do it on the Facebook Live, I'll crotch chop live. I'll crotch chop live. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway. But, uh, no, like, I mean, anybody that is mean mugging anybody else while they're fishing because they're not catching anything, they deserve that. They are asking for it. You're a real nice And guy. to be honest, I mean, they're quite lucky that I wouldn't have mooned them from across the lake. <laughs> that's a lot of moon. That's, that's a, a lot that's of moon. That's a big, but I would that's been like, a full hey, moon. The moon's out early today, boys. <laughs> that's what we call Boom. a harvest moon. Because <laughs> <laughs> you imagine their faces, because at that point, how could you just even be like, like oh, that guy ain't got... Is that a butt across the river? <laughs> they had to put, put like sunglasses on because like that's the part of you that doesn't get any sun ever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like that's really really bright. They say it's where the sun don't shine, but why is it so bright? <laughs> why is it so bright? <laughs> is that a star? Got about the spotlight and sturgeon. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Maybe the sturgeon will start biting at that point. But uh, <laughs> oh. I don't know, man. I just, I just, I can't stand people that do that kind of thing, man. They just sit there and give you dirty looks. Like we get it all the time at the lakes and stuff. You know, we're out there catching stuff, and people sit there and look at you and like, what are you doing? It's like, dude, I'm sorry. I I know how to fish, and you just showed up. I don't know what to tell you, dude. You you suck. Those are beautiful looking fish. Uh, I wish I would be able to, you know, I want to one day go out there and catch a sturgeon and a salmon. Those are two things I haven't really touched yet. Oh, Paul I tried. Went all, we went all the way to, to Hermiston, Oregon when we went up there to visit Ryan and everybody, and Paul caught a, the shad of a lifetime. I caught the shad of a lifetime. <laughs> and uh, yeah. it, <laughs> I loved every moment of catching that shad, especially the fact that I was the only one to actually pull a fish up on the boat, even though I couldn't pull up the shad. Like I was too weak. <laughs> let me let me emphasize on the fact of why he was the only one that caught anything. Uh, me and Felix were asleep for about ninety percent of that because Felix know I was. Felix drove seventeen hours from Southern California all the way up to Hermiston, and Paul slept sleep, Sleeping Beauty back hours. here just slept the whole time. Then when we got up there, he was ready to drink and party, so we went to True ordinance, story. we went to te- we went to the uh, neighbor dudes. This guy drank himself stupid. 
True story. So, but let's hear this good. Uh, what <laughs> do you recommend for? Um, well, it's a fishing show, so I want. Well, he, I'm just he's saying, he's caught some big that's fish. That's why you caught the fish. What we did. is? Uh, what's? What do you recommend if somebody's never been out there like myself and they're trying to catch some some salmon and some sturgeon? What would you recommend for the setup? Or you could just tell us what you were using. I know you said a little bit about some single hook row. Uh, what's a good bait for um, salmon and, and uh, what kind of test line should I take? And then same thing for the, for the sturgeon. What's a good bait? I, I'm guessing shad because that's what I was trying to use. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of varies on if you're going for, for the sturgeon, if you're going for oversized or cheapers. Um, that day we were, we were using squid. Mm -hmm. squid. squid. Most of the time, yeah, most of the time we're using squid unless – we said unless we go for oversized, and then we'll put the shad on the and because the oversized like suck that stuff down. Um, the salmon also again whether you're, it depends if you're on fish in the Umatilla that or the Columbia. The Umatilla mm -hmm. feeds into the Columbia. In the Columbia, we're usually trolling quick fish with uh, tuna belly, mm -hmm. and if we go up on the Umatilla. Depends also again how far up we go. If you're on the boat, either bobber fishing with row or those are fun when you use a bobber. Yeah. Yeah, they're a blast. But then further up are those ones where um, there's a spot like this, uh, like a man-made waterfall. Mm -hmm. They just fish. I just fish right off that off the bottom with the uh, with the row that I've cured up myself. Nice. Nice. Yeah. You know what? I, I I am having fun with every time you say uh, Unitilla. Isn't that a fun word to say? It, hold on. Hold on. No, first off, you're it's saying it Yuma wrong. Yuma oh, Umatilla. Yuma. Umatilla. Oh, okay. Shut up. It's a fun word, isn't it? <laughs> That's a fun word to say. Umatilla. Especially if you screw it up. Yeah. yeah, right. yeah exactly. <laughs> That's what I did. You, you, you would think he's doing it on purpose, but he's not. Yeah, I'm that's really the not. sad part. He's really he's not doing trying. it on purpose. Like he, I open the show sometimes saying outsider tacklebacks. Like it's yeah, like it, that's you, just normal. That's you just, just can't what I did. freaking talk. <laughs> but Paul has that, that's a cool word to say, Dubatilla. English. Umatilla. <laughs> There's fish in the Umatilla. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, now, he, now he's going to be using it. Yeah, that's his new big word of the day. Like, big, Yay, word. big word. We love big words. If you have any, we'll pause for a second just to uh, explain to Tommy what uh, pelagic means. And I'll explain un, back un, how to pronounce it. So there you go. We're done. Or uh, Umatilla. Umatilla, yeah. which is a river <laughs> in Oregon. Oh, it's also God. a town up there. Is it really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, we drove that's... through it. National Ge <laughs> Geographic, these two. <laughs> Umatilla. Oh, sorry. Wait, he was asleep. <laughs> how many That's times? Right, how, it. how many times everything. do you think I will say that word before this podcast is over? I oh, God, I hope no more because I feel bad for the people in Umatilla. Okay, like, I feel bad. They're do probably you? sitting there listening and they're like, "This guy's a moron." We're giving Umatilla a lot of uh, free airtime and, and yeah, they're uh, all going to show threats. up and say, "How you say the name of your town?" Anyway, all right. So Steve, that, that's Steve, a good the setup. next time we head up there, man, uh, I would like to uh, invite you over to neighbor dudes and whatnot to to hang out with us and uh, and fish with us the next time we hit up the Columbia. Uh, were you there when we were up there? Did you did you make it by the uh, the shindig? Um, I didn't make it there. I was actually out of town, but I oh. knew you guys were up there. Yeah, see, I would have loved to meet you, man. I mean, we met so many people. There was a lot of people. There was there. a lot of people. I mean, we were, we were rubbing elbows and taking pictures and all sorts of stupid stuff. I mean, I pff, people are like, oh, take a picture with me. I'm like, why? I'm I'm ugly. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, are. you got a wide angle camera. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'll, be like I'll be in the back smoking a cigarette. Cause I just, yeah, but uh, no, I mean, it was it was a blast, man, and. Uh, we're looking forward to getting up there again, and uh, hopefully we get to meet up with you this time and, and uh, you know, drink a couple beers and, and shoot the crap a little bit. I mean, uh, I, I'd, I'd love to hang out with you, man. Or go fishing. Any, any, anybody with a beard that great, you know they know how to fish, and you know they yes. got some stories. That's why you don't have a beard, and when you try to grow one, I you, shaved look, it. Like, I shaved you it look like a patchy little like teenager like with little patches of hair. <laughs> You're like, hey, what's up, guys? 
I just started growing this in. Someone that shouldn't be around children, but be around school children. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> you know the type. Oh, man. So thanks for coming on the show. We're going to send you some free stuff. Uh, <laughs> just send us where to where to shoot you yeah. that um, yeah, offline. Just, uh, and then we also have a fish story blog. If you mm-hmm. have any more fish stories, you could just put it in a written form. It doesn't have to be like a, you know, too um, elaborate. You know, mm-hmm. just uh, where you cut, same thing, where you caught the fish mm-hmm. uh, bait you're using and the size. And we'll, we'll promote that to you. If you have an Instagram or uh, YouTube Mm-hmm. Uh, go ahead and tell any, every, anyone who's listening uh, where to follow your page. And uh, if you uh, have a YouTube, you know, we'll try to get you some followers there too. Because yeah. that's what we do. We love local artisans, uh, local fishermen who are trying to build up their, their YouTube channel yeah. uh, for entertainment. So you go ahead and uh, if you have one or want to share your, I know you mentioned a buddy's uh, channel. You can go ahead and do that yep. now. What, um, you can just give us your handle. Yeah, so I don't have YouTube right now. Um, that's the next step. But I do have Instagram. Mm-hmm. It's uh, you can find me at Brown two one two five. And um, if you want to check out Eastside Grind for the YouTube stuff, that's the buddy TJ Hester. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where you find a lot of the same thing. He does tons of fishing content. It doesn't necessarily have to be techniques or anything. That it just has anything to do with fishing. Yeah. Same as you guys. That's, I mean, so, that, and that's what we're about. Anything to do with fishing. I mean, you can tell us about fishing. You can tell us techniques. You can tell us a story. You can tell us a joke. I mean, it's it's all in good fun, and we just enjoy that part of it. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, but um, you can definitely hit us back up, send more pictures. We'll put you back on the show. We'll put you, I mean, you know, we just we just enjoy hearing from, from now what we call the outsider family, the the you know we're we're all one big group and we're all you know we all have fun and, and it's fun it's a fun place to share everything all right yeah, so um, from all of us here I'd, at let's do that kind of show with you guys yeah and, and we we appreciate you guys and, and everything you guys do and you guys help us out by giving us you know stories to talk about From all of us here at Outsider Tackle Box uh, Studio, Tight Lines, Fish More, stay tuned. We're going to give away some free stuff uh, on our uh, YouTube Live and And our Facebook Live. live. We're going to do that in just a second, but you already won. And so thank you very much for coming on the show. You're welcome back anytime. Uh, So it's been a pleasure, uh, Steve. If you know anybody who wants to come on the show, like your buddy with the YouTube or anybody, uh, anybody's welcome. Yep. All right, appreciate it, guys. All right, bud. Take care. Have a good one. Have a good one. All right, Bye. bye.